Good morning, students. I am thrilled that we are kicking off our uh, units on fractions at each grade level. And your teachers have worked really hard to prepare some really fun learning experiences for you as you learn about fractions. And I want to share with you this morning a book entitled, If You Were a Fraction. If you were a fraction, you would always be part of something. You could be one wedge of an apple, two pieces of pie, three wedges of a pear, or four slices of pizza. If you were a fraction, you would be one or more equal parts of a whole. The hungry hippo eats a fraction of every pizza on the buffet table. He takes one half of the vegetarian pizza, one eighth of the sausage pizza, and one fourth of the cheese pizza. If you were a fraction, you could be divided into three equal parts. You would be thirds. Jenny juggles three red balls. One ball falls. Jenny has dropped one third of the balls. Joey juggles three green balls. Two balls fall. Joey has dropped two-thirds of the balls. If you were a fraction, you could be divided into two equal parts. You would be halves. The zany zebra's flag is one-half white and one-half black. The loopy leopard's flag is one-half yellow and one-half black. The proud peacock's flag is one-half green and one-half purple. If you were a fraction, you could be divided into four equal parts. You would be fourths. One window has four equal parts, or panes. If one pane is broken, one-fourth of the window is broken. If three panes are broken, three-fourths of the window is broken. If you were a fraction, you could be divided into eight equal parts. You would be eighths. Robin slices a raspberry pie into eight pieces. Each bird gets one piece. Each bird gets one-eighth of the pie. If you were a fraction, you could be divided more than once. You would be one unit subdivided into equal parts. Josie and Jackie split the yummy candy bar. They each have one half. Then Johnny and Joey show up. Josie and Jackie split each part again. Now the candy bar is in four pieces. Josie, Jackie, Johnny, and Joey each have one-fourth of the candy bar. If you were a fraction, you could be part of a set. A set is a part or is a group that has something in common. Lewis the Tiger Trainer has a set of three flaming hoops. Fanny the tiger jumps through the first flaming hoop, or one-third of the set. Fanny jumps through the second flaming hoop. Fanny has now jumped through two-thirds of the set. Fanny jumps through the third flaming hoop. Now Fanny has jumped through three-thirds of the set, or one whole set. If you were a fraction, you could be compared with other fractions. Buck. Buttercup and Betsy make six cookies. Buttercup gets one of the six cookies. She has one-sixth of the cookies. Betsy gets three of the six cookies. She has three-sixths, or one-half of the cookies. Buck gets two of the six cookies. He has two-sixths, or one-third of the cookies. One-sixth is the smallest of the three fractions. Buttercup has the fewest cookies. Three-sixths is the largest of the three fractions. Betsy has the most cookies. You would always be part of the whole if you were a fraction. I hope you enjoyed reading along with me this morning, and I really hope you enjoy learning about fractions alongside your teacher, and your classmates the next few weeks. Everybody have a great day, and thanks for reading with me.